What's good everybody, and welcome to my video about splay trees part 2, where I'll be talking about the three main rules for splay trees. Um, as you'll find, these rules are not that hard after you get some practice in, and they are the key rules for splay trees and make it a simple yet very very good data structure. Okay, so let's start out with the first rule. The first rule is 1. Um, pretend that the node we're going to find is going to be called x. And the first rule is that if this x node we're trying to insert, delete, or find, if x is a left child of a right child, or a right child of a left child, right, I said that, yes. Of left child, I want to rotate it. That's what you do in splay trees: is you rotate to correct the data structure. I want to rot it, rotate it through the the parent. What does this mean? Let me show you a little bit example here. So first of all, let me make this font a little bit bigger. Twenty. Hmm. Maybe that's a little too big, but that'll do. That'll do, babe. Okay. So let's say I have a splay tree, and I've got. 10, 20, and then I've got that element x. So what is the, this is the parent and this is the grandparent, gp. Now, um, in this example, x is the left child of a right child. So it's the left child of its parent and the parent is the right child of its grandparent. So this fits rule one. And what I mean by rotate it to the right is that rotate it through the parent is that I'm simply going to swap it. I'm going to switch it with the parent two times. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to now swap this. So I'm going to make this 10 is now going to see x. And since and now I have to reformat the tree. I've now swapped x with 20. But what I need to do is I need to reformat 20 because I know that 20 was greater than 10 and x was less than 20. So 20 is greater than x. So 20 is now going to be the right child of x. So that's how I reformat the tree. But then again, I need to rotate it. These, this step is going to rotate, is going to find a way to rotate the x node up two levels. So again, what I'm going to do is after rotating it once, after rotating it up here once, I'm now going to rotate x's parent up again. And what that's going to do is, again, I'm going to put x here. And since I know since 10 is less than um, since 10 is less than x, as I know, because x is the right child, I'm going to put 10 now to the right of x, and I'm going to put 20 still to the right of x. So as you can see, I took this tree and balanced it by uprooting that twice, which is pretty cool, which is a pretty good algorithm. So if I were to do this for a right child of a left child, which in this, this example, it's a left child of a right child, but you could do the same thing for a right child of a left child, which, which would just be the mirror image. So let's say I had 20, this is 15, and this is x. So that would be the same thing. You would just do the mirror image. So instead, you would just rot you would rotate up and still rotate it the same way. Um, make sure when you're doing this, you think of that the tree is still balanced and the tree is still filling the rules of a binary tree, the same rules in a splay tree, that anything to the right is greater than the parent, anything to the, to the left is less than the parent. So now we're going to move on to, on to the second rule. And that is, let me get into position here, if x is a left child of a left child, or a right child of a right child, you're going to rotate. You're going to rotate it through the grandparent. So this is the key difference between these two rules. Is just how you really is just where you start rotating it. So again, I'm going to make this in. So let's say I have. Let me do another example with 50. And let's say I have 5, and then x is less than all those. So x is the right child of the parent, and it's the right child of the grandparent. 
Another similar example would be if I did 50, 75, and then x, because x is the right child of the parent, and the parent is the right child of the grandparent. So that is what you're looking for for rule 2. I need to I'm going to put a nice little 2 right here. And basically how we're going to do this is instead of starting at the parent and rotating it and rotating twice, instead we're going to rotate the grandparent first, and then we're going to rotate the parent second. So let me show you how that works. So what we're going to do is we are going to rotate, we're going to rotate the parent. So we're going to bring up the 5. So now this is going, we're going to bring up the 5. And I accidentally disconnected my headphones. We're going to bring up the 5. And we're going to bring down the 50 because 50 is greater than. So 50 becomes the right child of 5. And then x is going to be right here. X is going to be right there. So now that I've reformatted the tree again, I'm going to now rotate the parent of x instead of the grandparent, which is okay, so now I do that, and what I'm going to do is I'm going to bring x up, and I know um, x is less than 5, so again I make x, I make, um, sorry, I make x, or 5 the right child of x, so 5 is the right child of x, and I know 50 is greater, and 50 is greater than 5, so 50 becomes the right child of 5. So I've now reformatted the tree to get 5 up there, and now the tree is kind of reversed from this beginning statement. So that is the third rule of, um, that is the third rule. And as you'll see, these two, these first two rules will be used most often, but there is a third rule, and basically it's, so base, the basic rules that I'm going to show you is that when we find, remove, or at, insert anything, we use these two rules, but there will be one, there will be one, we use these two rules until we brought the node all the way up to the root. But there's a third rule, and that's, that's because if these two, these two rules will only work if the tree is an even distance away, is an even distance away from the root node. Now what if the child is, what if x is the child of the root? So, if x is the child of the root, you can't do a double rotate. You just, you're just going to rotate, rotate the um, parent, or rotate x up once. So this is 3. So again, let me show an example. So let's say, again, x, x has got to be 1 away from the root. So let's say this is 12. And this is x, and we'll say this is 20. And for a more harder example, we'll make this 5 as well. So x is between 12 and 5. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to rotate x up once so it finally is in the node now. So since this is the root, I'm going to rotate x up once so x is now the root. And I know that t since t now I have to reformat the tree, so 12 was greater than that, and 20 was greater than 12. And now 5 has now been moved up to the left child. So again, the tree is still balanced, is the tree is still fitting the same rules, but I rotated up once to fit the third rule. So again, the three rules are, you know, the left child are to worry about if hmm, this is this going to let me update? Anyway. Okay, finally got that. Now as you can see here, all these rules, when they come together, get to work. So we've got Rule number one, if it's a left child, if it's a left child, or if it's a double left child, as I like to call it, you rotate it through the grandparent and then the parent. Or if it's um, a left child and then a right child, or a right child and then a left child, you're going to rotate it through the parent twice. Oops, wrong, wrong image. And so now I'm going to end this video with showing you guys a quick example of, for instance, finding a node. So let's find a node here. So let me pick a tree like 11. Let me pick, make a tree like this. <laughs> and
and I need to get some more space here. This tree, maybe I should have drawn this tree up before the video, but anyway, it's all good to you guys. And so there we go, six. So now what we're going to do is we're going to try to find five. So we're going to find five. Do, 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 do. We're going to be looking for five here in this example. So what we're going to do here is I'm going to go down again like a regular search tree. So five is less than 11, greater than one, less than nine, greater than three. And there's what we finally found five. So now that we found five, we see that the it's the left child, it's the it's the child of a left, it's the left child, and it's the right child. So what we're going to do is we're going to use rule number one for the first step. So what we're going to do is we're going to rotate. We're going to take that node and we're going to rotate number three. So once we do that, we're going to we're going to rotate we're going to rotate up here. So now uh, five is going to five is going to be right here now. But now I'm going to have to bring down the 3, and 2 is less than 3, so now I've got that. And now I'm going to have to reformat the, the subtree of 5. So now 4 is great, so for the 4 is going to go greater than, is going to go to the right of the 3 now, and still 7 is still greater than 5, so 7 is going to go right there. And then I'm going to have 6 here, and then I'm going to have 8 here. So now that I've reformatted the tree, now I'm going to rotate, now I'm going to rotate it with the parent. So now that I have a new tree, I'm going to rotate it with 9. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to go over here and I'm going to make it a product of 9. So what I'm going to do is here is I'm going to have 5 and then what's greater than 5 is going to be the 9 and what's greater than 9 is going to be the 10. And now I've got to deal with the 7 here. So I've got the 7 and 7 is less than 9 but greater than 5. And then I can still use the 6 and 8 that I did in the last example. I think it's got to be clear that these are different trees. And again, I can still use the same formatted tree I used over here. So 3, and then 2, and then 4. I'm sorry, and I'll just do that. Okay, so now that is the tree, that is the new tree I have is this one. So as you see, I have now changed the subtree of all the way up to this 9. So let me redraw this tree for you guys. Okay, so now that I've redrawn the tree, I see that I'm still, I still got to move up 5. So I see that again, it's the right child of a left child. And again, I'm going to do the same step. I'm going to do step 1 again until it gets up to the root. So I'm going to do the same thing. So I'm going to have to re. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to rotate through the parent first. And I'm going to rotate through the parent again after I've done that. So what I'm going to do is I'm now going to bring 5 up to the ones plot and I'm going to bring one down so one is now right down there and then from here on out I've got what I'm going to do here is I have to bring the three node over here because three is greater than one but less than five and then I have the two and then the four and I've got the nine and then I keep doing I, now I can just kind of re-implement the same tree here I don't, I'm not changing anything over here, and then now again I've got to I've got to switch this with the 11 here. Now that I've done that, so what I'm going to do here is I'm going to bring the five up again, and what that's what that is going to do is that is going to allow me to do this. So now the five is the root, and I've got 11 here, I've got 12 here, and I and again I'm going to have to I'm going to bring down everything else. So now that I've done that, I've got 1 again as my root and 0 here. And I'm going to have to ha I'm going to have 3 here. And what's below 3 is 2, and what's below what's greater than 3 is the 4. And now I've got to the right of 11, I finally got my 9 over here, and under my 9 is going to go the classic 7 8 and 6. And right there, I have finally, I have now found my five and brought it to the node and reformatted my tree. Notice the the height may have not the height may have not changed, but it is perfect. And now I can act quickly get five um, at in constant time, which is really nice. So yeah, as long I will post another video about with other examples, as I only used rule number one in this example, but there are other examples that implore that apply that do all 
three rules, but if you watch my examples and watch this series, you should be able to at least figure it out on your own, but I will make another video. So thank you guys, and I look forward to part three. See you.